Hello everyone, this is Dave from Option View, and today we will be setting up Option View with Thinkorswim, which is also known as TOS, as our data source. Let's begin. The first thing we should do is make sure Option View and Thinkorswim are not running. If they are, please close both programs. Once we know both programs are not running, we should verify that we are running Option View as an administrator. If you have a shortcut to Option View on your desktop, right click the shortcut, then click on Properties, and then click on Advanced and make sure that the box Run as Administrator is checked. If you run Option View from the taskbar or from your Start menu, you will have to right click on the program name, then right click again on the program name, then click on Properties, and then Advanced, and then make sure the box Run as Administrator is checked. Click OK until you have closed the property windows. Now we start Thinkorswim. After you have started Thinkorswim and before you log in, look at the login screen and in the lower left hand corner you will see a cog wheel. Click on the cog and you will see some options for Thinkorswim. In the memory usage section, click on the down arrow and set the minimum and maximum ranges somewhere towards the middle to upper range. You can experiment with these settings to see which numbers give you the best performance of Thinkorswim. When you have made your selections, click on Save. Now you can log in and start Thinkorswim. Once you have Thinkorswim up and running, Look in the upper right hand corner and click on Setup, then Application Settings, and under the General tab on the left side, select System, and on the right side, set Quote Speed to Moderate Max Delay 3 seconds. We have found this setting gives us the best connection performance with Thinkorswim without overtaxing our systems. When you are done, click on Apply Setting or Cancel if you made no changes. And now you are ready to use Thinkorswim as your data source. Start Option View if you have not already done so. And in the upper right hand corner of the program you will see a green circle inside a box. Right above the box you will notice either NV1, NV2, NV3, or NV4. This is the server to which you are connected. If you do not see this, you need to restart Option View. If you still do not see a server number listed after restarting, please call Option View Support. After the server number, there will be a space and then either a 1, 2, or a 3 digit number. This is the number of symbols in the quotes display. Click on the green circle and a dialog box will open. And this is where you will select Thinkorswim as your data source. In the Live Data Source field, click on the drop down arrow and select Toss Thinkorswim, and you may need to change your symbol limit to 125. Once that is done, click OK and you will return to the Option View Quotes display. Now, in the upper right hand corner, you should see a small white dot circling the green globe. This signifies you are getting data from your data source, which in this case is Thinkorswim. Just as an added peace of mind, in the quotes display, I would add a column called Data Source so you can see exactly from where you are getting data. To add this column on the quotes display, just click on any column header, then on your keyboard, hit the Insert key to add a blank column. Now, right click on that blank column heading and from the drop down, select Data Source. Now you can see at a glance your data source. This concludes our demonstration of setting up Option View with Thinkorswim. If you have any questions or would like a transcript of this presentation, please feel free to email us at tech at optionview.com or call Option View Tech Support at 847-816-6610. 
Thanks for listening and have a good day.